But fasten your seatbelts, hold on tight. We're in for one crazy ride tonight on the Josh Nolan Full Throttle Racing Show. Hashtag one on Facebook. So, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts, hold on tight. You're in for in one incredibly awesome, amazing, and super cool ride tonight on the Josh Nolan Full Throttle Racing Show. Hashtag one on YouTube. Tonight we have with us Kyle Francis. Welcome to the show, Kyle. Thanks. So, Kyle, let's talk about. Okay, where where are you from anyway? Let's let's talk about. Let's start that way. Where where are you from? Um, I'm from Canada, BC. What what part of Canada? British Columbia. Um, but Vancouver or which one? Not Vancouver. Okay. What's the name of your town then? Chilliwack. What is it? Chilliwack. Okay. So Kyle, okay, let's talk about your racing career now. So Kyle, where did your racing career begin? Where did this uh, awesome adventure begin for you? Um, on Christmas when I was five years old, um, my dad got my car and surprised me in the garage with it. Okay. So what was your first thought when you got your car for Christmas? Were you excited? Yeah, I was pretty excited. Okay. So Kyle, when you climbed in the race car for the first time, were you a little bit nervous to go out on the track or? Yeah, I was pretty nervous because I didn't know what was going to happen. Okay. So Kyle, um, so when you did go on the track, did, did you, did you do okay on the first time on the track or? I'd say I did pretty good for my first time. Okay. So Kyle, after you got on the racetrack for the first time, where did you start your racing career at? Langley and I was in junior novice. Langley and junior novice. Okay. So did you have a lot of success right out of the gate in junior novice? Yeah, I had lots of success. Okay, so when you were racing at Langley in Junior Navas, then where did you go from Junior Navas then, Kyle? Um, I went up to Junior Honda. To Junior Honda. Okay, did you have a lot of success in Junior Honda also? Um, yeah. Okay, so Kyle, okay, then where did you go from Junior Honda? Senior Honda. Senior Honda. Okay, have you, did you have a lot of success in Senior Honda? Yeah, that was okay. my favorite year. Okay. So then where did you go from Senior Honda then, Kyle? Um, I stayed in Senior Honda, but I just added, I just bought another car and joined um, Senior Animal. Okay. So what has your first experience with Senior, um, senior Animal been like? Uh, it was really scary because it was really quick and I didn't know how to handle the car at first, but then I got used to it. Okay, so Kyle, um, let's talk about your race car number now. What is the story behind your race car number on your race car? Um, I'm number 18 because Kyle Busch was my favorite uh, NASCAR driver. Okay. Did you ever get a chance to meet Kyle Busch at all? No. Never. No? Okay. So Kyle, um, when you're being you're the number 18... So, okay. Um, so do you have a racing nickname, Kyle, that people call you on the track? Uh, the comeback kid. The comeback kid. Okay. I like that, Kyle. I like that. So Kyle, um, do you have any sponsors for your racing team? Uh, yes. I'm sponsored by Strobel Racing, which is another family. And okay. they bought me all my cars. Okay. Do you have any other sponsors at all? Um, I'm about to have another sponsor um b which okay. my dad which what which my dad works for them okay okay very cool very cool so kyle where do you see yourself in five years with your racing career um probably sprint cars okay um how about in 10 years 
know, maybe a NASCAR, but probably sprint cars. Okay, okay. So, Kyle, um, does any of your classmates come watch you race at all? No. So, what does the kids that you go to school with think of you being a race car driver? Well, I haven't been going to school because I did homeschool for a long time. So, I don't know yet. Okay. So, Kyle, are you still doing homeschool? Um, tomorrow would be my first day of school. Okay. I'm doing Tuesday, Wednesday for school and homeschool for the rest. Okay. Okay. So Kyle, um, what grade are you in then? Seventh grade. Seventh. Okay. 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 So Kyle, who helps work on your race cars? Um, Strobel fam, the Strobel family. Okay. My dad. Your dad, do you help out work on them too? Yeah. What's what's your main job working on the race car? Um, switching the tires and doing tire pressures. Okay. So Kyle, um, what is your favorite subject in school? Math. Math. Okay. All righty. So Kyle, um, if you if you had to pick a dream job where you know if if you if you were to pick a dream job where you weren't racing it anymore what would your dream job be i'd probably be a mechanic on a race car yeah okay all righty so kyle um what do you like to eat at the racetrack hot dogs hot dogs okay um so what okay kyle when you go out to eat what do you like to eat at a, at a restaurant when you're out and about um Probably a burger with bacon on it. Okay. And which, which restaurant do you like to go to? Um, I don't really have a favorite. I just go to restaurants. Okay. So what's your favorite thing to drink, Kyle? Um, iced tea. Iced tea. Okay. So Kyle, um, what's the worst thing you've had happen to you as a race car driver? Um, in one of my region races with the States, um, I was driving and someone from the States went to go and pass me and they shoved me up in the wall and Ooh. I rode the wall and flipped over them and barrel rolled all the way to the next corner. Ooh, did you get hurt at all, Kyle? No. Okay. So what helps you prevent you from getting hurt in your race car there kyle um mainly my the seat and the belts it's really okay okay so kyle um do you okay you race on pavement right yes have you ever tried racing on dirt at all um not yet but this year we're planning on going to some dirt races okay 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 so what's um some big races you got on your calendar this year um, Las Vegas and Yakima that we just did. Okay. Already. How did you do at Yakima? Um, I did pretty good. I won both of my heat races and then I got taken out in the mains. Oh, which was unfortunate, but yeah, unfortunate. Yes. So Kyle, what is your home racetrack? Um, LPMA Langley quarter major association. Okay. Okay. How big is Langley? Um, it's pretty big. It's the biggest track that we have. Okay. So do you guys have, do you have a lot of race car drivers that come to Langley? Um, yeah. Okay. hundred members. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So Kyle, do you have anything out there you want to say to the kids out there to get them in a race car? Um, it's just fun and it's worth your time. Okay. So Kyle, what do you like to do away from the racetrack? What's something fun you like to do? Um, probably do basketball. Okay. You like basketball, huh? Yeah. Who's your favorite NBA team, Kyle? Warriors. Okay, already. Golden State Warriors, huh? Yeah. And who's your favorite player? Steph Curry. Steph Curry, okay. Alrighty. So Kyle, um, so do you have anything you want to ask me, Kyle? 
Um, not really. Not really. Okay. So is anybody else you'd like to thank for helping you out with your racing career, Kyle? Yeah. Um, my dad for buying me the cars that I used to drive and the Strobel family for helping me still race. Okay. So when you're at the racetrack, Kyle, um, the communication between you and your dad, is that pretty good as far as driver and crew chief wise? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Kyle, thank you very much for being on the racing show with me tonight, talking to us about your racing career um, and getting to know you a little bit better um, over on the YouTube side of things now. So yeah, you're going to be on YouTube here eventually. So that's going to be pretty cool to see you on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite YouTuber? Um, not really. No. No. Okay. So Kyle, thank you again for being on the racing show with me tonight. Talk to us about your racing career and are you still looking for sponsors, Kyle? Uh, yeah. Okay. If there's anybody out here going to be watching this racing show with me and Kyle Francis, and you want to reach out to him and, and help sponsor his racing team, go ahead and get a hold of Kyle Francis or his dad. And they would appreciate the sponsorship on Kyle's race car as Kyle gets further into his racing career. So Thank you very much for Kyle for being on the racing show with me tonight, talking to us about your racing career. I'm going to let you step out and I will call you on messenger here in a little bit to thank you in person. Um, so yes, I'll let you step out there, Kyle. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye. Have a fun time. Oh, yes. So ladies and gentlemen, um, giving a little racing news update wise to um, good luck to the drivers in IMCA stock car modified racing tonight because they are racing at Clay County Speedway in Spencer, Iowa tonight. So good luck to all them drivers there. Um, also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good luck to everybody else that's been, that's got their racing se seasons well underway. And I'll tell you what, Derek Green's got a pretty awesome paint scheme on his stock car this year. Kind of a throwback to his dad's racing career. So it's going to be kind of cool to see the red number 32 out there this year so it's gonna be pretty cool to see that um also ladies and gentlemen um just um, stay tuned because the indianapolis 500 is just around the corner which is the the biggest race motor race in the world so good luck to all them drivers entering them the um indianapolis 500 and also ladies and gentlemen um aj foyt has a really pretty awesome paint scheme on um his abc supply indycar for the Indianapolis 500. It's going to be pretty, it's pretty awesome looking. So if you get a chance to check that out, look at that paint scheme, that's pretty cool. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, you guys have a good night. Catch you later on another episode of the Josh Nolan Full Throttle Racing Show. Hashtag one on YouTube. Um, also, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to sponsor my racing show, you can email me at jjnolan151 at gmail.com or you could call or text me at 712-209-7138. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have a good night.